200 kilometers off the coast of mid-Norway, Statoil has made a quantum leap for value creation and resource utilization on the Norwegian continental shelf. The project started as a mere dream three decades ago. But after years of innovation and development with our suppliers and partners, Statoil has now fulfilled this dream. 300 meters below the surface, the world's first subsea gas compressor facility has reached its destination. The pioneering installation, covering an area the size of a football field, could fetch an additional 282 million barrels of oil equivalents from the reservoirs under the seabed. In energy terms, this equals four times the yearly hydroelectric power production in Norway, or enough energy to power all households in the United Kingdom for almost a year. Compared to a compressor on a platform, Osgard subsea compression substantially reduces CO2 emissions and is far more energy efficient. Let's have a look at how it works. As gas is taken out of the reservoir two and a half thousand meters below the seabed, the pressure decreases and the flow crawls to a halt. The compressor is then installed to actively suck out more gas and condensate from the geological formations. First, the compressor cools the incoming components and separates fluids from gases. The gases are then compressed, cooled once more, and mixed back with the fluids before being pushed to the receiving facility at Osgard B. To avoid fluid blockage in the pipeline, the compressor maintains required flow at all times. The key to the subsea compressor's efficiency is its proximity to the wells, allowing both sucking from the reservoir and pushing through the pipeline. The subsea gas compressor on Osgard is also vital to the next step for subsea processing, the complete subsea factory. Constructing self-contained seabed installations will increase safety and efficiency and grant us access to fields that have been unreachable in the past, an important step for our future value creation.